A Yancey County couple survived Helene with what they think was divine intervention, but they had more than God on their side. They rode out the storm with the help of furniture that took them from the living room into a raging river. Queen City News reporter John Lee has quite a tale in tonight's Faces at the Carolinas. Helene was horrific here in Pensacola. It left the Yancey County community both scarred and scared, but somehow, they summon strength. I just want people to understand that you just, you, you can't give up. You gotta, you gotta push no matter what. Maybe this church that withstood the flood water is an image of enduring faith. Meanwhile, Howard and Lisa Ray are symbolic of Pensacola's will to survive. And I don't, I don't understand. We shouldn't be alive. I mean, there's just no way. It's all God. Where our house was. No sign of home anymore. Most everything washed away. We passed down there. The flooding swamped their trailer. I just knew we were dead. But Lisa says an act of God gave the Rays a chance to escape. The trailer started filling up and it's like he opened a piece up and I just had sat down on that couch and we floated out. Incredibly, she and her husband held on to that sectional couch as a flotation device along the Cane River. The water line, 25 to 30 feet above normal. While she was still on the couch, I was just holding on to her. And I remember her saying, we're going to drown. And I'm like, no. I was like, uh, if we're going to drown, we're going to drown together. They held on for dear life, riding that piece of furniture their dog loved to lay on. We eventually floated down, like I said, 400 yards. Uh, and then I told her to jump. That's what's left of the barbed wire. Of course, sharp wire isn't the ideal lifeline, but it was their only choice. When he said jump, I, I just jumped and I grabbed the barbed wire fence and wrapped my hand around it and pulled myself up. That's what she grabbed a hold of. Then they waited in this garage for hours, waiting for the water to subside. Our trailer is way up there. Howard is a lieutenant with the Pensacola Volunteer Fire Department. My guys, they thought I was dead. I, believe me, there for a minute or two, I thought I was dead, so. Despite the trauma he and his wife went through, he rushed back to join fellow firefighters in disaster mode. And I walked back to Pensacola to go help my boys because I ain't leaving my boys no matter how much I'm hurt or whatever. After Lisa was released from the hospital, she learned her best friend, Michelle Quintero, died in the flooding. I just collapsed. Michelle was a captain with the Madison County Sheriff's Office and so much more. What kind of person was she? She was a good person. She was a great mother. She had one grandbaby and one grandbaby on the way. Through the pain and loss, they moved forward together in Pensacola. Since Helene, kindness and compassion rule, Pleasant Valley Church found the Rays temporary housing, paying for this Airbnb for the next year. Two days after the storm, the couple reunited with their dog, Sadie. She was waiting next to their Jeep where the house used to be. They share their story to underscore how blessed they feel, no matter how little they're left with. Yeah, I shouldn't be alive, but God has a purpose. What do you think that purpose is? I'm not sure. I'm still asking questions. I think maybe what we're doing right now, maybe it gets out and shows people that, that there is a God. And it's faith that keeps folks afloat right now, much like the couch that gave the rays, a ray of hope. I know I might've lost everything, but that doesn't mean that I stop and I've got to quit and I'm just gonna give up. It's just not who I am. In Pensacola, John Lee, Queen City News.